All right, so in speaking about this section marker, where we have uh, our linear parameter moving uh, this, uh, this little arrow back and forth, the next thing I'd like to do is to be able to rotate this, but I want to rotate it without having to use the rotate command, okay? I don't, I don't want to just select this rotate command. Um, and then, because if I do the rotate command, it's going to rotate my, my attribute with it. And I don't want that. I want my, ro my attribute to stay where it's at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the block editor again. Little pro tip. If a block does not have any block attributes, you can just double click to edit it. But this one does have a block attribute. So if you double click it, it's going to want to edit the text instead. So we have to use the block edit command or BE. All right. So we're back in this, uh, we're back in this, this block again. Um, and we want to do a parameter uh, set for a rotate, which is right here, rotation set. You could do a rotation and then use a rotate action on it, rotation parameter, and then a rotate action. Uh, I'll be real, I've not used anything other than those two together. I've not tried to put a rotate action on a linear parameter. I, just, I don't even know how that would work. So uh, to me, rotate always goes together. Um, so I want to choose rotation set. And it's asking me for a base point. This is my, ro the, my the base point of my rotation axis. So I'm gonna click here. It's asking me for the radius, and the radius is basically just, you're just picking where your grip is gonna be. If I put it here, my grip is right next to this. If I put it over here, my grip's way out here. I think a good spot for this grip would be right at the end of this line, actually. And then it's gonna ask me the default rotation angle, because you can limit the rotation angle. Oh, sorry, not limit. Well, yeah, I think you can actually limit the rotation angle. But we want to know where does the rotation start. We're going to say zero degrees. So the grip's going to start here. Okay. You can change a lot of these properties uh, after the fact. Um, you can change the 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 angle itself. Like you can only limit it to 45 degrees or something like that. The base angle itself can be rotated so that it starts here instead of starting at zero. But we want everything to just start at zero, and we want it to be able to rotate all the way around. So. Um, let's choose our objects. So I'm going to show you two different things. It's important that you understand that action or parameters can affect other parameters. And the reason that's important to understand that is because if I'm going to tell you first and show you when I do this rotate parameter, what I'm going to want to do is leave the, the text alone, this line in the center and this circle. And I want to rotate this line so that it rotates around. And I also want to rotate this. Um, this arrow over here. <clears throat> okay. If that's the only thing I rotate, then what's going to happen is this parameter is going to get left behind. And so this parameter won't rotate with it. And this grip will stay here, which kind of screws up the functionality of this block. So let's test it and I'll show you what I mean. So you can see there's my grip for my rotate, right? And this thing works as intended normally. But what happens is the moment I go to rotate this, my grip stays behind for my stretch function or my move function, okay? And then what happens is when I go to use the move function, it moves it in a different direction. It doesn't move it in the way I want it to move because it's still locked in that left-right direction, that x-axis. It's only moving in that left x-y axis. So if I move it this way, sure, it might move correctly, but my grip's way over here. You know, and if, again, if I move it this direction, it's going to move it like that. No matter what I do, by the way, I have ortho on, so it's it's locking it to these directions. If I turn ortho off, we can get like a, whatever direction we want. But no matter what I do, it's going to move that in this direction, right? It's going to it's, it's, it's going to move it left and right instead of moving it like outward, right? So it has unintended behavior. The way to solve this is by making sure that I include. I'm going to modify this select set and make sure I include this uh, linear parameter set in uh, the selection set for, for rotate. Basically what I'm saying is the objects I want to rotate are this line, this arrow, and this parameter. Because when when I rotate this thing around, I want this, lin this linear parameter to go with it so that I can constantly rotate it outward. So let's go ahead and test that now, now that I've included it. Are we there? Are we there? Almost there? Are we frozen again? I think it's time for a new machine. I'm gonna go ahead and include that in the uh, in the old budget there. 
anyways while we're waiting for this thing to unfreeze uh, again very important to understand that uh, parameters can affect each other this is this is is kind of kind of critical for being able to get your intended behavior in a block um, you saw that if I didn't include the linear parameter with the rotate then the grip stayed behind and there's a lot of other actions that are the same way that you'll want to like kind of overlap and stack and you want to have them affect each other because you want to have them run at the same time so <clears throat> I'll be just about done and this thing likes to freeze on me and I'll say that much um, how you guys doing tonight or day ah here we go all right so now rather than leaving this grip behind the grip gets rotated with it and we can now adjust it all the same because what I've done is imagine that 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 parameter is now here instead of being like you know over here it's been rotated and it's going up and down if I turn my ortho off and rotate this at a weird angle it's still fine because I'm rotating the parameter the the, the linear parameter <clears throat> the move set I guess with uh, everything else okay so it has the intended function so that's the way the, the rotate parameter works and you can adjust certain portions of this after the fact I'll, I'll do a video on this later but uh, about explaining everything that goes in the properties, but you can you can choose your angle minimum and maximum if you want to um, The base angle and, and the allowable angle and things like that um, But that's your rotate in a nutshell <laughs>